Good morning. Uh, my name is Joyce Lee. Most of you will know me. Um, I'm an elder in Greystones Presbyterian Church and Gary has asked some of us to record something uh, for his noontime slot just to give him a break the odd day. So he's asked us to think of three things that we're grateful for at the moment, two things that we miss and one thing that God is teaching us. So before I start, I just want to acknowledge that my experience of this COVID emergency has been really good. Um, but I'm very aware that for a lot of people, it's been pretty awful. Uh, people who've had to isolate alone, um, people who've had to work on the front line, and obviously people who have been sick, people who have lost loved ones, um, and people who have been struggling, you know, with businesses, uh, trying to keep businesses going or being extra busy. Some some businesses have been increasingly busy. So I know that for a lot of people it hasn't been easy, but I just do feel very grateful that I have had a really actually quite a lovely time. <laughs> and uh, part of that has been due to the fact that I live in a lovely place and we have a little cottage here in the country. We have a big garden and um, it has been lovely to be able to spend time in it and uh, to get lots of jobs done early in the year. The weather has been just gorgeous and um, we have places to walk here that you know we don't even have to go out to have our walk. So I'm really grateful for the place that I live. Um, I'm <clears throat> also grateful for family. Our youngest son this time last year, he was in Hong Kong, so that would have been a bit scary if he was still there, but thankfully he's home and he's actually been home living with us for the since the schools and colleges closed. And uh, we've had lovely times just, you know, having lots of cups of coffee and um, lunches and meals together and uh, doing jobs together. And it's just been great. So that's been, I'm really grateful for that. Also grateful, this is still under the heading of family, that um, my eldest son got married last year. Um, I would hate to be trying to plan a wedding this year. And I do feel for all the people who've had to postpone weddings or, can't, you know, have, it, have it now have to plan a much smaller event. Um, so grateful that he's now happily married and that they're able to spend time in their place in County Clare, uh, although it's been sad not to be able to visit. Also grateful that uh, our my our, both our mothers are doing well. Um, that my mom is in a nursing home, um, but they don't have COVID there, so she's safe and well at the moment. And Andrew's mom, we've been helping to cocoon her, so she's safe and well. So a lot to be grateful there for around family. And the third thing that I'm grateful for is my faith. And that has sustained me through all of this. And I'm very aware that it's not easy always to have faith, that some people find it hard to believe in God. They find it hard to put their faith in something that they can't see. Um, I've never found it hard. I have, from childhood, found it easy to believe in a loving God who cares about me. And that has sustained me through all the various difficulties in life, the good times and the bad times. So I'm really grateful for my faith and for all that that means to me, especially now. Things, two things then that I miss. Um, miss a hairdresser, being able to pop into the hairdresser. I'm going to go grey, I think, during this time. Um, just getting to the point now where I'd like to get it cut, but I'm going to have to wait a while. Um, I miss being able to just pop in and out of shops without having to think about it. Uh, at the moment, going shopping is just such an expedition. Uh, planning it, going, making sure that I have everything I could possibly want on the list and uh, going early in the morning to avoid people, uh, feeling kind of at risk when I'm there and then coming home and decontaminating. So yeah, it'll be nice to just be able to pop into a shop and even to be able to pop into a clothes shop, things like that. Um, and yeah, I'm sure Gary would like me to say I miss church. Yeah, I do miss church. I miss seeing everybody at church. Uh, but it's been lovely to be able to see, um, you know, to be able to join with people for the kind of online services. That's three things. Sorry, Gary, I'm not very good at sticking to the point. Um, 
then what has God been teaching me? I just want to share an experience that I had recently um, of just a word coming from God and I'm not a raving lunatic but I really do believe that these were words that God gave me um, just to start with to say that there have been moments when we have felt very fearful um, especially at the beginning when the schools were closed and there was that like panic buying in the supermarkets and shelves emptying and we would go to bed at night thinking you know what is this going to mean what feeling like that everything we'd planned for our future was just gone and um, everything was so uncertain and we were frightened for our health and our family's health and so forth and we've kind of got used to all that now but there have been fearful moments and every now and again it kind of comes back and hits you again so I had a couple of weeks ago I had a few sleepless nights and I had some pretty nasty dreams disturbing kind of dreams but then I had this uh, really lovely dream um, and I woke up with words in my head that I really feel came from the Lord so in the dream I won't go into it all but uh, basically I was watching some young people play this game where they were kind of wrapping each other in um, kind of like a big long scarf or something and um, piece of material and they would tuck, tuck in one end under the person's arm and then kind of wrap them or swaddle them and I was told in the dream that this was called the body wrap game and then I kind of woke up suddenly and just these words were in my head which I just felt were from God um, it's, the words were the were uh, let me try and remember them now properly. Uh, starting with your heart, I will wrap you in my love, pull it tight and hold you forever. And you know, that just filled me with such peace because I was just so reassured that no matter what happened, I'm always wrapped in God's love that he pulls it tight, that he holds me, he cocoons me. We've heard that word a lot, um, cocooning. But we are actually, as God's people, cocooned in his love, swaddled in his love. Nothing can separate us from his love. Not COVID-19, not death, nothing, nothing can separate us from God's love. And if we read his word, we are just constantly told how much he loves us. And that's the whole point of Jesus coming to live here on earth. The whole point of him dying on the cross. The whole point of him rising again and sending his Holy Spirit to be with us. Just to show us how much he loves us. So I just want to leave those words with you as well. Because those words were not just for me. They were for all of us. Because he loves all of us so completely so just try to maybe just think of the way that you are wrapped up in God's love and held by him forever no matter what happens he has you he's got this okay thanks for listening bye bye